<laughs> Morning boys and girls. It is the second day here in Koron. It's uh, 6 30 a.m. Sunday, May 20th. Yeah, we're gonna have some breakfast first. Buffet breakfast. And then we're gonna do the uh, second. Uh, in the second <laughs> tour. Music. Second okay. island tour. Yeah, we're gonna do a second tour and then uh, we're gonna have some fun <laughs> in the sun. Let's go. First time naman kumain sa buffet. Breakfast na naman ang hotel. Mga trip namin laging mamili ng breakfast. Some island tour kami. Islands. Good morning. Sarap tulog namin. Around 9. Up to 6. 8 hours. It's like, is it? It's like 8, no? Mm. Uh, 9 hours. <laughs> so, we're energized and we're ready for the island tour today. Pero inaantok ako. Pero inaantok daw siya. Overslept. One hour daw biyahe, sabi ko kuya. So, One and a half. One and a half? Nice. Uh, tulog muna kami. Tentayo ko ya. Sa kabila po, maglalakad lang po tayo dito ng Legends Chips papunta dito sa kabilang area. Okay. Anong pangalan na tayo? Welcome Kuya po. Ah, ito okay. Ito kami sa Malta Kuya. Makapuya Island is the first island in our trip for today. It takes around 5 to 7 minutes walk from the boat docks up to the beach. We were advised to visit this beach early in the morning because a lot of people flock around the beach on a later time. Also, the tour guide mentioned that this is the best beach out of the three that we have in our itinerary. So it is just right to spend more time here than the other two. They sell some fresh Indian mangoes and fresh coconut here for an affordable price. We spent most of our time getting burned at the beach and taking a lot of pictures. This island feels like you're in a paradise, living like a king and sipping on that sweet, fresh coconut. Hello guys, Mal Kapuya. As you guys can see, uh, I'm kakulay ko na siya, guys. Uh, ganda dito, ito daw yung pinakamandang beach. First stop namin dito sa Mal Kapuya. Medyo dumami na yung tao pero kanina kami yung una. Okay naman, masaya naman. Swimming swimming lang, kampisaw dyan lang sa dagat. Pero maganda yung island. Super, uh, super nice. White beach or white sand. Uh, sarap ang buko. Sarap ang buko. Sobrang tamis ng buko niya. Buko niya. Buko niya. <laughs> buko ni kuya. <laughs> First stop, meron pa kami two island. Banana island, tsaka... Alam mo ito ka isa eh. Alam mo isa? Bulogdos. Bulogdos. Yun lang, update lang isa. Pero... Wala ng skin ko. <laughs> Low, one of the locals na. One of the locals na. Dikit-dikit yung boat. Sumasabit. Nahirapan si na kuyang... Ano hen? Tanggalin yung, ano, yung sabit sa boat. Ayan ang ginagawa. Pinakapunta sa taas. Anyway, tapos na kami. Kamain siya ng mangga. Mm, yum yum. Mm, yum yum. Mm, yum yum mangga. Yum yum. Si, si Kuya. Ayusin niya yung ano. 
yung sabit dito sa kabilang boat para makaalis na kami good job good job <laughs> sa sunod namin is uh, banana island ata okay, let's go sa Banana Island uh, katapos lang namin kumain sarap ng food as usual and then uh, yeah, maglalakad lang kami papunta doon and then andun yung beach so we're gonna swim there again and buy some drone some drone action the next island we visited is Banana Island our guide said that the island looks like a banana but I didn't see the resemblance. I should have flown the drone further to see the actual shape. Anyway, it is a beautiful island, very similar to Malkapuya. Though the beach itself are full of rocks, so you might want to bring some slippers or aqua shoes when you dip into the waters. There are a few doyens here as well if you want to relax within the palm trees overseeing the beach. If you want a more exclusive and comfy experience, I highly suggest renting a cottage here for a day or even overnight. Banana Island, talagang banana siya. Hindi ko naman nakita ang banana. Hindi ko nakita sa drone kung banana talaga yung tsura niya. Ito yung bulugdos. Ano daw dyan? Maganda daw. Kita niya naman. Maliit lang siya. Sunog na yung likod ko, talagang... Talagang matindi ang sunburn. Medyo makati na nga eh. May antiki ka pa. Meron pa akong isang trip. Antiki naman. Talagang... Love, love part 3. Matindi. Tinting, ano yun, swimming and kailan pa kaya ako babalik sa sarili kong, sa tunay kong ulit <laughs> matagal matagal tagal na, so 30 minutes lang kami dito kasi medyo matagal yung biyay pabalik mga 1 hour, 30 minutes or 2 hours pag malakas ang ano pero last stop na to bulog dos and see you guys later bye, have a beautiful time our third and last stop for today is Bulugdo. It is just right beside Bulog Island, which is a smaller version of it. These two islands both have beautiful sandbars, but too bad it was high tide when we went. Also, there's a bunch of people swimming around it. There's a stairway going up Bulugdos and top of it, you can oversee the Bulalakao Island where Two Seasons Resort is located. That resort looks really fancy so you might want to book your stay here if you have an extra dough to spend. Anyway, we spend our time here looking at the beautiful scenery, capturing unforgettable moments, and relaxing at the Duyan while the sea breeze blows across our skin. Pierre. Uh, tapos na yung trip. 
we had fun, it was pretty fun. Sasabihin ko ulit kanina po na sinas sinas kanina pa namin sinasabi. Sunog na sunog na talaga kami, guys. Sunog na sunog. Kami makabubuo. Halos magkatulay na kami. Pero enjoy naman worth it. Dami naming nice shots, very relaxing after stressful wedding preparations, tsaka ano pa ba 'yan? Yung mga petition niya sa sa visa, US visa to get the US visa interview. So, umasa siya eh. So, he got the visa already uh, sent after two weeks. And also, yeah, there was a celebration for that. I enjoyed. Sobrang cool uh, ni Kuya, si Kuya John Paul. Talagang recommended. Buong trip, dinarag niya lang kaming dalawa. So, <laughs> Pagkit kami. Yeah, the whole family kasama na. So, ngayon lang, uh, tapos na kami sa trip sa island. <laughs> Last day na namin. Tomorrow, flight natin is what time? 11. Punta na kami sa hotel ngayon. Ligo lang kami and then mamimili kami ng mga pasalubong, mga dangget-dangget and stuff. Mga dried fish. And then we're gonna eat again. We're gonna eat at our favorite um, restaurant here which is Kawayana. 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 Sobrang sarap doon. Twice kami kumain doon nung nasa Koron kami last year. Kasi it's really really good. Recommended. Ang sarap ng buttered shrimp. Chili I ordered chili, uh, crab. chili crab and then I ordered uh, Croc Sisig Croc Sisig si si last year So maybe same din yung order na natin Pero <laughs> kayo! <laughs> Alright sabi niya sa Kawayana kasi ang dami lagi na ako nagko-comment dito eh so ikaw naman ngayon shrimp maanghang maanghang pero medyo kulang sa bottom kasi guys yung shrimp hindi masyadong ano eh ma-butter pero in order kasi na yun butter garlic shrimp pero medyo spicy so nung nakita namin yung receipt ito ang nakalagay ayun kaya pala kasi ano Butter, garlic chip. Hinang pas pala yung chip. Hindi pala nilagyan ng butter. Butter pala. Yung kinawin nila. Sarap. Maasin na may anghang. And the birds in the soup. It's like uh, good for four. Ang kanilang good for three. Okay na yun. Sige. Masarap. Basta masarap lahat. <laughs> Except dun sa butter. Garlic chip. I mean okay lang. Pero hindi siya yung ano eh. Buttery talaga. Yung last time. Yung last time, sobrang masarap talaga yung prawns. Pagpunta ka ng kawayanan, huwag niya ipabatter yung shrimp. Butter. Huwag niya ipabatter. Anyway, punta na kami sa Fika, magde-dessert kami. Kapon, hindi ako na pag-dessert kasi masama yung pakiramdam ko. But we'll go to Fika right now and get some nachos maybe and uh, something. 